Hey, welcome back. I was in the mood to do a little bit more of a festive, traditional holiday look. I recently posted a minimal holiday look and I just thought we would take things up another level. Um, I remember last holiday season, I was probably around six months pregnant. I'm not even sure if I wore makeup. So I'm excited to be back in the swing of things, you know, in terms of having the actual energy to do a fun holiday makeup look. And I am partnering with MAC in today's video. I'm gonna be using several of their holiday kits that I handpicked. They have several more on their website, so definitely check them out. But these were the ones that really spoke to me, and I think you're really gonna enjoy them. I feel a lot of the times holiday kits can get a little crazy. The shades can get uh, wild, and they're kind of like one-use products for the holidays, and then you're done. These are ones I definitely made sure to pick that can transfer over into multiple seasons, lots of really pretty neutrals, lots of classic products, and overall, there's just a really stunning lineup with the MAC kits this year. So um, this is the look that we're gonna be doing, and uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna start out with the Say Beauty Glowy Super Gel. This is, to my knowledge, just like a hydrating, luminous skin prep, or I think you can use it as a highlighter on top of your skin, but I just want a nice kind of radiant base because I am gonna be working with the one and the only uh, face and body. So I think this will complement the um, glowy, healthy undertone of that foundation. And I just wanted to kind of give it a shot. I've seen some comments from you all about this here and there. And so I got a little mini recently. Kind of has like this faint scent of honeysuckle to me, like a very natural earthy honeysuckle scent. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Well, yep, we are very glowy at this point. Um, I like it. I like the way that it feels. It feels like it has enough kind of grip for a foundation to go on top of it, but not in a tacky sense. So moving in to my face and body, I'm using the shade N1. This is pretty much the lightest shade um, that I'll go in this foundation. This is my winter color. Such a cult classic from MAC. And as we all know, this is... I mean, holy grail status for me, especially for a foundation that I can just throw on um, with my fingers. This is how I always prefer to apply it, except when I freelanced. I mean, this was the foundation that I kept in my kit for almost 10 years um, and used it for hundreds and hundreds of people, but I liked using a sponge with it. I'm not really sure why. I think I just felt like I had a little bit more control um, with it, but it's such a beautiful foundation. You can build it up. Um, if you have not seen my old school video on how to apply a face and body, it is probably at least five years old um, at this point, but I will I'll link it down below. Gorgeous chef's kiss. I love looking at my skin after I apply this foundation. It's just so easy, incredible. It's waterproof. Um, and I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I picked up a new one recently because I had to ditch my old one. It was getting a little too, little too crepey. So this is a concealer um, I talked about recently. I keep um, kind of like a top five stash of concealers. There's just formulas that I always keep in my collection. And this is um, definitely one of those. I love using it really as a foundation sometimes. It's obviously a cult classic for a reason. I just, I can't explain it. There's just something so classic and easy to use. Uh, I like to apply it with a brush. I apply it with my fingers. It even works good with a sponge. So um, I'm just using that really underneath my eye area to brighten and give a little bit of extra coverage. I think it adds just like that final um, perfection to face and body. So this is a product I have really been enjoying. It's Tower 28's Bronzini. Uh, this is a product that I had heard mixed reviews about. It's kind of like a bronzer and a highlighter in one. It's pretty shimmery. Um, when you apply it to the back of your hand, you can definitely see like a little bit of metallic finish going on. If you're going for a really full coverage, like full glam look, I don't think this is the product for you, but I have really been enjoying it. Um, you really don't see the reflective finish of it once you get it on the skin and it just kind of you can see it just blends in really beautifully
This is my Merit Flush Balm in Cheeky. So I want this look to be a little bit more polished. Generally, I would leave my skin looking very undone, just like this, very glowy, but I do want to kind of ensure that things are set into place. And I just want overall a little bit more of a perfected look. So I'm taking uh, my Studio Fix powder from MAC and I'm just going to lightly tap that um, to the areas that I want you know, the shine to kind of be eliminated from. And this just overall kind of gives you a little bit more of a smoother finish. So the first MAC holiday kit I'm gonna to use today is the Trick of the Light Mineralized Skin Finish Set. Um, almost every single holiday kit I'm gonna talk about today comes with its own little makeup bag and they all have this unique kind of hypnotic design on them. But this is um, a kit that's gonna come with a limited mineralized skin finish. It's in the shade Bling Me to Life. And then a little accommodating 143 uh, highlighter brush. So this is a really pretty shade. It's got obviously a hint of gold to it. Um, even though I'm really fair, I kind of thought that this was going to be more of like a bronzer style on me. It's really not. It still comes off as that original high shine finish. So a little goes a long way. I'm just going to tap a small amount on the back of the brush here. And we're going to tap on the back of the cheeks. It's a really pretty color. I truly was expecting this to be dark and I had planned on using it as more of a like bronzer topper, but as you can see, it's perfectly fine as a highlighter on my skin tone. I actually wore this on my um, eyes yesterday as kind of like an eyeshadow. I'm gonna dust just a little bit over, but it was really pretty as an eyeshadow as well. Just gonna take a little bit of my Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Surprise Eyes eyeshadow palette, and this is the cool toned version. There were um, a few versions that you could pick from, and as you can see, very neutral wearable shades going on here. Um, I've already worn these three, well, actually these four, like these four over here, but I think I wanna go for a classic smoky eye, like two shadow smoky eye. I'm gonna use, I think this shade, right here, it's kind of like this olive brown situation. And then I want to highlight in the middle with this extra dimension eyeshadow. It's in the shade called Fool Me Once. And it comes in the Now You See Me extra dimension eye kit, which I'm gonna be using a few more things out of later. So um, I've got my, Mac, my trusty MAC 217 here. And we're just gonna do a one shadow smoky situation. This is a really pretty color. It's kind of like an olive bronze shade. So this is the Extra Dimension Eyeshadow in Fool Me Once, and I'm just gonna take my finger and pop this on the center of my lid. I'm also just gonna take a little bit of malt to help round things out for the rest of the eye look. I'm gonna take this slightly cooler shade and just use that on the lower portion of my eye.
And then this nice little champagne shade right here, which I've already used on my eyes. It's stunning, super reflective. I'm just gonna use that on the inner corner. Little goes a long way, as we can see. I mean, MAC eyeshadows still to this day are truly stunning, um, versatile, and there's just literally a shade for everyone, every skin tone. I just feel like nobody could deny how inclusive and versatile um, their shades have always been. This is the Technical Eyeliner from the Now You See Me Eye Kit. I'm just gonna tight line with this and then we're gonna finish off with a bit of mascara. So the mascara that comes in the Now You See Me Extra Dimension Eye Kit is the Extreme Dimension Black Lash Mascara. Hmm. I'm actually surprised by this formula. Um, I have always been a ride or die MAC Giga Black Lash person, but this one's nice and it's really separating. Okay, I feel like we saved the best for last. This is definitely my favorite out of all of the holiday kits and it's the best kept secret neutral lip kit. So this isn't like your typical nude neutral. It actually has a bit of like a holiday flair to it. So you're gonna get the lip pencil in Brick Ola, which is kind of like a really warm, uh, think of like a spice tone. That's how I would describe it. It has a little bit of a red undertone to it. Dark opal, same thing, kind of like that chestnut brown with a little bit of a red going on. And then the lip gloss, just, I mean, it it's stunning. It's called Mocha Magic, and it's just me bottled up in a color. I absolutely think it is stunning, and the three together, beautiful. Okay, I think, I think I'm done. Um, this, to me, is just the epitome of a classic holiday glam look, which I feel like I've not done in a long time. You know, um, I just feel like we've been indoors for so long and things have just been, you know, chill, pretty minimal. So it was really fun to actually play around with some like true glam holiday kits. That lip kit is Chef's Kiss. Um, it's, it's such a unique color because it's definitely a red, but it's not so much in your face like a classic holiday red would be. So if you're someone that feels like you can't always pull a red off or you just generally don't get down with bold colors, um, I don't know. Something about this is slightly more muted and you could definitely just use the lip liner with the gloss for an even more muted uh, finish. But I love how everything paired together. I mean, MAC has always delivered on iconic products, but it's just fun to see what they roll out for the holiday season. And sometimes I feel like, you know, with holiday kits, they can be a miss in terms of colors, but I took a look at every single kit and these were just the ones that really spoke to me. And I felt like the colors were really user-friendly this year. Uh, lots of neutrals happening, lots of golden tones, lots of cool tones. So I really felt like a lot of these colors could easily shift over into different seasons. It's not just your you know fun cosmic colors for the holidays they seem to have a nice lineup of year-round user-friendly products so i'm going to leave the mac kits that i use down below definitely check out mac's website they have so many more kits and the same kits that i use just in different variations of colors i know the eyeshadow palette kind of came in a couple other tones i use the cool tone i think there was also a warm tone palette not only do you get a makeup bag with a lot of the set um, a lot of them are packaged in this way where when you open them, there is a to and from. And so if you're like me and you're really lazy and you don't like to wrap things, you could literally just gift this as is because it's got nice little um, holiday packaging, kind of shows you a preview of what product you're gonna get on the inside. And it could easily just be left on someone's desk, left on someone's doorstep without having to go through the trouble. I sound so lazy right now. Definitely not the holiday spirit, but I'm not a big rapper. I'm, I'm sure several of you out there can relate. So I hope you enjoyed the look and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.